How's it going everyone? I'm Frank Cavone of Mirth Films and today we're going to take a trip back in time and we're going to check out the Canon 5D Mark III. The Canon 5D Mark III was released back in 2012 and is a full frame camera with 22.3 megapixels. It has a Digic 5 Plus processor and comes in roughly 33.5 ounces. So there is a couple of reasons why I decided to buy this camera even though it's 10 years old. First off, I got the camera for around $350. Again, it is an older camera. Number two, it has the Canon Color Science. Right now I'm currently a Sony shooter, I've been a Sony shooter for about five years and I really miss that Canon color science. There's something about it that not any other camera maker can do. The third reason why I bought this camera is because I really do miss that DSLR form factor. On the ergonomic side of things, this camera is a magnesium alloy body, so it's pretty tough and it's weather sealed. So you can really use this in any condition. Something I can't say about the Sony cameras, um, they're just not weather sealed like the Canon DSLRs and I feel a lot safer shooting with this in bad conditions. The LCD screen is also nice and bright. I really like how simple the menu system is too because not only is it easy to use, it also matches every other menu system that exists in all Canon cameras. So no matter what Canon camera you are using, you're gonna be able to understand it and pick it up faster and easier. Now we're moving on to photo specs. And the first thing, again, this is a 22.3 megapixel full frame camera. So you're gonna get great results, better results in low light than you would in a crop sensor camera. The buffer for this camera is not that great. You can shoot six frames per second up to 18 shots. So it's not a lot. So if you're shooting sports, this is not really meant for shooting sports. The Canon 5D Mark III has 61 autofocus points, which is good for DSLRs, but in modern day cameras like the mirrorless cameras, I think the EOS R has roughly like 693 autofocus points. So it's this is way less. If you're looking to use the Canon 5D Mark III for video, forget it. This camera is not great for video in 2023, especially when 4K is the standard. This camera can shoot up to 1920 by 1080, 2997, 24 frames as well. Um, and it shoots in all I and IPB. I don't ever really use this for video ever. Most of my cameras, not if not all of my cameras all have 4K. So this is only strictly a photo camera for me. Now it's time to talk about some of the pros and cons when it comes to using the Canon 5D Mark III. And the first pro that I wanna talk about is its magnesium alloy body. Its build quality is amazing. If I accidentally dropped it, I wouldn't be concerned. It's weather sealed, so shooting in the winter is fine. And even shooting in the rain is fine too, especially if you're a sports photographer, I wouldn't be so concerned using this camera. Um, it's really great for any condition hot, cold, no matter what. The second pro that I have to talk about is the fact that it has two card slots. Yeah, they're not the same card slots. One's a CF card and one is an SD card, but having a backup card, especially if you're shooting weddings, is important. My third talking point is the fact that this camera can do double exposures in body. It pisses me off that Sony does not do double exposures in body. I feel like it's crucial to have. I know a lot of concert photographers who use that technique and I like using that technique as well and I want that available in my cameras. So when I have a $2,500 camera that can't even do that, but can shoot 4K 10 bit and you know, this 5D Mark III is from 2012, that just bothers me. And so the, that was another huge reason why I decided to buy the camera was because I wanted to start doing that again. My last talking point is that the lens selection for this camera is amazing. You have years of lenses from Canon's EF mount, L lenses, non-L lenses, third-party lenses, specialty lenses that are cheaper these days, but they're still amazing. And even if you're using this camera as a transitionary camera body to eventually go to mirrorless, you know, you're still gonna have great lenses. All you need is an adapter at that point and you can adapt pretty much any EF lens. Now with a 10 year old camera body, I do need to talk about some of the cons when it comes to using the 5D Mark III, especially for the things that I need when I'm shooting. First off, there's no Wi-Fi, and that bothers me because I am somebody who shoots a lot of events and I wanna sometimes be able to download the photo that I just took from my camera right onto my phone. And I could do that with my Sony a7 IV, 
VR. And it's funny, you can actually do it with the Canon 6D, which came out the same year as the Canon 5D Mark III, but you cannot do it in the Canon 5D Mark III. And I think that is a major downside of this camera. But if you're not looking for that instant, you're not looking to just get that photo out right away and you're more worried about the quality, then don't even worry about this talking point at all. My second gripe about this camera is that it's autofocusing capabilities are subpar. This is something that I would not recommend a professional using in 2023. Um, it just, it, it is not enough. It does not cut it. 41 cross type autofocus points, 61 full. There's a lot of people out there saying that this camera is great in low light, but I absolutely do not agree with that. Um, as a concert photographer, I shoot in a lot of low light situations. And when I'm shooting with this camera, I feel like I'm mostly using primes because I don't wanna have to worry about boosting that exposure and, and raising my shadows and then starting to see this grain, this unnatural grain. Um, it just looks hideous. And so for that reason, this camera is not that great in low light at all. Another con is that this camera is not great for video whatsoever. I absolutely do not recommend it for video. So let's just move on. And lastly, this camera is heavy. That is a trade-off when it comes to having a DSLR. They are built like tanks. And yes, the build quality is amazing, but it is a heavy camera. And if you're carrying two cameras at one time, then yeah, it's gonna weigh you down. And I actually was just using this with the Canon EF 50 millimeter 1.2, and it seemed pretty heavy using this. And uh, just another gripe that I have, but I'll take the build quality over heaviness. It's not really a big deal. Now, who is the Canon 5D Mark III for? I personally think that this camera is for beginners. It is the perfect beginner's camera and a great camera to learn on. And you're also gonna get great results at the same time. Secondly, I think this camera is a great second body. If you have a main camera already and you want one to tag along with it and you're using Canon lenses, uh, the Canon 5D Mark III is perfect for a second body. Have you used the Canon 5D Mark III before or are you looking to buy one? Either way, let us know in the comments section down below. My name is Frank Avona Mirth Films and thank you for watching today's video.